Hey everyone, it's me. Um, this is part of the question and answer video because I received a question that really stood out and I kind of felt it was worthy of its own little video. So I'm going to answer that right here. Um, I'm also going to answer a second question as well, which was similar in topic, but polar opposite in nature. But anyway, this question, um, like I said, great question, really stood out far above the rest. And this one came from my cousin, Phil. Uh, he sent this to me on Facebook. He asked me, what is the goal for someone to undertake this kind of journey at our age in life? And that's a great question because, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult on the trail at times. And it's going to be realizing not just the goal of the trail. You know, my goal is to reach Mount Katahdin, but what's kind of the life goal behind doing this? And there's there's several goals that I have personally have um, as far as kind of life goals that go along with the why I want to hike the trail. Um, the first one is to take time to focus on me. I know it sounds selfish, um, but kind of hear me out. When it comes to life, we, we tend to forget about our needs and we, we're always focused on the needs of everyone else. Uh, for the longest time, you know, I'm always focused on, you know, uh, taking care of a, a family, taking care of friends, taking, my, keeping my boss happy, you know, keeping, you know, uh, just everything except for my own personal needs, the things that I enjoy. I would t totally neglect those things because I thought it was more important to, to, to keep everyone else happy. And what ended up happening is, well, frankly put, you just can't do that. You can't share happiness with others if you're not happy yourself. You know, if you don't have happiness in life, you just can't share it, you know. Uh, and so, kind of, this is an opportunity for me to take care of myself, my own needs. So that's kind of goal number one. I know it sounds selfish, but... Uh, and. In a way it is, but you know, if I don't take care of myself, no one else can reap those benefits of me being a better, happier, nicer person. Um, so that's kind of goal one. Goal number two is, um, I spent uh, several years working um, in social work. I've worked with uh, schizophrenics, I worked with schizoaffective, I worked with uh, bipolar, I've worked with high anxiety, depression, suicidal ideation, addictions, uh, alcoholics. Uh, I've worked with, uh, I even worked with juvenile sex offenders for a while. I mean, you name it, uh, mental, mental health wise, I probably worked with someone with that. And I've always worked in a social, in a, uh, residential setting. And, uh, what I found was a lot of the things that I've been working with my clients on and teaching them is to focus on following their dreams and doing the things that they enjoy and not letting um, whatever they're going through in life inhibit them from doing the things they enjoy. Um, and so my goal, my secondary goal is kind of to uh, really put into action the things that I, I was teaching my clients. You know, to kind of uh, be a role model, so to speak, for people who are facing whatever issues they're facing in life, uh, be it mental health issues, be it uh, um, physical health issues, be it, you know, um, just emotional issues, that they can hopefully learn, you know, and see me apply the same skills that I've, I've been teaching my clients um, you know, see how, how applying those skills actually help, you know, applying skills such as, you know, your dialectical behavioral therapy, if you happen to know what that is. Um, I won't use big words like that on the trail, don't worry. Uh, but, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, in fact, I'll even be titling a couple of my videos as DBT, um, because, uh, one of our other, uh, staff members want, wants to use them to help uh, continue helping some of the clients that I've been working with. So um, so if you see a video labeled DBT, you know that that's specifically for 
some of my clients, but it can help anyone else out, okay? You're all welcome to. And so kind of my secondary goal is, like I said, to, to apply this, the skills that I try to teach others um, in the social work or in mental health um, or addictions or whatever um, issue people might be facing. Um, and for them to see how how to apply those skills in their own lives. And hopefully that, you know, as they see me overcome the difficulties of the trail, they'll receive at least some hope or inspiration or possibly some guidance on how to overcome whatever difficulties they face in their own life. Um, so those are kind of my main life goals uh, as far as hiking the trail. There's a few others, which I wouldn't really call them goals, but I mean, losing weight is going to be a great benefit. Um, <coughs> um, not really a goal, but it's it's going to be a great side effect. And um, so it's going to kind of, kind of be refreshing, I guess. Um, so I, I thank you, Cousin Phil, for your question. <coughs> and I apologize for the coughing. Um, I'm just getting over a cold, so. Um, and, uh, okay, the second question. Uh, this one did not come from my cousin Phil, by the way. I, I want to clarify that. I don't want people to confuse this. This second question was anonymous. And, well, once you hear me read it, you'll understand why they sent it anonymously. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and read it and answer it because even the naysayers are worthy of an answer. And the question is this. Don't you think it is irresponsible for someone your age to quit his job and spend what little money he has <coughs> just for, and they put quotes here, fun and adventure. Wow. Well, first and foremost, the fun and adventure part is not just for fun and adventure. A uh, simple fact is I'm a fun-loving guy. And I'm going to have fun and adventure no matter what I do. Um, so, so that part is kind of null and void. Um, granted, it's going to be fun. It's going to be adventurous. But it's also going to be difficult and challenging at times as well. So, and that needs to be kept in the mindset as well. Um, as far as the spend what little money I have, um, first of all, I'd, I'm poor. I don't care. Uh, I'll admit to that. I, I've never really made a ton of money. Um, and I really don't care because I've made enough for what I've needed. And I mean, for crying out loud, I got enough to hike the trail, right? So, um, so as far as the whole spend what little money he's got, you know, um, it's important that we, uh, well, first of all, I guess my best way to address this is to say, um, money is not the end all be all of existence. And I think that's probably where the person who wrote this question was missing out. And uh, so let me start with this. Um, do I think it's irresponsible? Um, I don't care what God you believe in. If you believe in God or Allah or Vishnu or Yahweh or Jehovah or Elohim or the all-powerful Thor or whoever you believe in. Um, God did not put us on this earth for the sole purpose of getting a job, earning money, paying taxes, buying things, getting debt, paying off debt, and all that junk. Um, I can guarantee that when we die and we show up at the pearly gates, that St. Peter is not going to say, excuse me, can I see your W-2s? Oh, I, you did not make enough. You know, I, that's, I guarantee that's not going to come up. I can totally guarantee that won't come up. Um, simple fact is how much money you make, how much possessions you have, and stuff like that. You know, how big of a house you got. Doesn't matter in the long run. That that's not what's important. That's not what our purpose in life is. At least it shouldn't be. Um and so, you know, 
the purpose in life is for us to acquire the things that we can actually take with us. And that's happiness. That's peace. You know, that's joy. That's, that's love. It's, you know, all, all those little things like that that we get to take with us. Not the money. You know, that, that's, you know, money is a, a fine and dandy resource, but it's not, at least it shouldn't be, the major factor in anyone's life. And so, do I think it's irresponsible for me to quit my job, to go out, you know, on the trail? Um, I would say no, it's not at all. Um, in fact, when you look at, uh, you know, I know that me going on the trail, I'm going to find a lot of happiness out there. I'm going to find some, a lot of, a lot of joy out there, a lot of peace. Um, I'm going to find the things that I can take with me when I die. And so I would have to say that for me personally, it would be irresponsible for me to not go on the trail. Um, just because not only can I find those things for myself, um, by doing these videos, I have an opportunity to share those things with others as well. So I hope that answers your question. Um, anyhow, I will do the rest of the question and answer video here shortly and get it out as soon as possible. Have a good night or day or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Bye.